how I catch bay snappers down here in Pensacola, Florida. We've got snapper season coming in again this weekend. If the weather gets real bad, we're fortunate to be living here in Pensacola. We've got this really big bay that we can come out here and we can catch really nice snappers in. We've been catching snappers in this bay for a long time now. And we've caught them over 20 pounds right here inside the bay without having to go offshore. And I'm going to show you what rigs I'm using, the bait I'm using, how I'm catching these snappers. And the only thing you're going to have to know on your own is you're going to have to learn where to find these snappers. That's the biggest thing. You know, your location is going to be key. But once you find that, I'll show you how to catch them once you get there. So the combo we're going to be using here is just a traditional drop rig. Use any kind of reel you want. Make sure you've got good sturdy line. I'm going to be using 100 pound test. Okay. Now you can see here I've got a pretty heavy lead with a long leader. That's about a six foot leader is what you're going to want with an 11 to 12 aught circle hook. You can see that hook snailed on there. If you want to see how I'm making these rigs, skip over to the end of the video. I'll give you a tutorial on how I'm going to do that. And there's also another rig I like to use. It's the three-way rig where I've got my weight down here and my hook up here. So essentially that weight sits on the bottom and my bait's going to be over here. And I'm using this rig right now because attached to that, so you guys can have a better understanding of what's going on with those snapper down there, I've attached the Spydro underwater camera and essentially what that's going to do it's going to video those fish down there every time those fish pull and snatch on it's going to take a picture of them hits water it's going to turn that camera on so you guys can see exactly what's going on down there so the bait that i'm going to be using today scomers scomers atlantic mackerel we call it boston mackerel some people call it northern mackerel so what you're going to want to do is when i'm bay fishing i cut that part off I throw the head in the water cut that part of the tail off throw it in the water and we're going to use dough nuts one two three four and the snapper love to eat these dough nuts especially the part with the cream filling now when I hook my dough nuts I'm just going to take it one time and go through just like that that's how I hook my dough nut for these base snappers all right so let's drop it down there see if we can get some of these on video so what we're going to do we're going to drop it down keep your thumb on the spool all the way down. Keep your thumb on the spool as your bait goes to the bottom. Show you guys just like I show my clients. Once you get to the bottom, tighten down, hold your rod tip low. Now watch that rod tip, see it? See it, they're biting on it? And then you just start reeling, okay? Just like that, see how I did that? That's all you wanna do, you wanna reel. You don't wanna set the hook. I've got a lot of clients, they're always wanting to set the hook. You don't do that, you just drop down, any reel, just like that. There you go. Pensacola Bay Red Snapper. Sometimes they're gonna get your bait. You stop getting bite, bring it up. Bay Red Snapper. You hook them like that. Drop it right now on the bottom. Remember, keep your thumb on the spool. Keep it tight. You want to make sure you keep your bait on the bottom using these three-way rigs. Once you get down there, lock it in. Hold your rod tip down. Boom. Like that. Remember, it's just a reeling motion. You don't want to set the hook. That's the worst thing you can do. That's how we kiss. And that's how we catch them. 
until we catch these red snappers in shore. Gotta have the right bait, the right tackle, and obviously the best place. You gotta have your good spots. Come out here in the bay, spend a little time, look around, I guarantee you, you'll start catching more red snapper if you start using these techniques. And remember guys, if you like the video, subscribe to my new YouTube channel, Flowers Fishing. This series is called Watch the Strike because I'm showing you exactly what's going on down there. Appreciate you guys for watching. Alright, so what I'm going to do is show you the rig I use. I more than likely are always going to be using. I'll take my slip lid. Take my swivel. Put my swivel on. I'm going to go one, two, three. Just making three little loops right there. Come through the back side. Pull that knot. Just like that. Cut that tab off. Take your leader. Using 125, it'll take you six feet. It's about an arm's length. Got it right there. Show you how to snail these hooks. Take your hook, go through the front of the eye. Go one, two, three, four. Then, with your end tab, come through the back side, just like that. Boom. You have a perfectly snailed knot. The harder they pull, the tighter it gets. Take it to the other end of your swivel. Same thing. One, go around the back side. Two, three, go around the back side three times and come through the back of the hole. Pull that knot tight. Cut that tab. Boom. Guys, make sure you cut your tabs off. You don't want to leave some big tabs hanging out there. Just like that. And that's our rig up for the day. Thanks for watching the strike, guys. This is Flowers Fishing Channel. I appreciate you tuning in.